Left. Right. On Find My Family, Amanda doesn't want all that much out of life. It'd be nice to look at someone and say, wow, you look like me. Mum is dead. So who's Lisa trying to find for her? I just pray that she's listening. Faye, she gave up her only child. You sort of see the rest of the family with children and you think, well, that could have been me. And Dane, tears for his dad, even after all the things he did. And especially this week, it was his birthday. G'day, I'm Jack Thompson. You know, there are more than 20 million people here in Australia, so what are the chances of a sister and a brother ripped apart, separated for 35 years, both arriving at the same place, at the same time, with no idea what the other looks like, to try to find each other? Just remember the names, Dane and Lisa. I have nothing, I don't have any any memories, no, and, and I don't have any physical memories. I don't have photos, I don't have um, letters, I don't have any of that thing that you can cling on to with some sort of hope. Young Dane had a pretty tough start in life. His dad was the problem. Dad was a drinker. Things happen when you drink. Yeah, things like breaking into other people's homes, stealing. Dane doesn't make a big thing of it, but Dad did time in jail. And I think it just got to a point where my mum said, enough's enough. So Dad just said, all right, we'll do the amicable thing. They split. Uh, Dad said, I'll take the boy. Mum said, I'll take the, the girl. Um, and that's, that's basically it. Fair deal or cruel and selfish? Call it what you like. Dane's not seen his mum or sister since. Dane was five. Lisa, just three. My relationship with my dad, uh, as most sons are, they, they love their father immensely and I'll always try to make him proud of me. Um, unfortunately, he passed away six years ago. And it's pretty sad. And especially this week, it was his birthday. <laughs> well, that's not the life Dane wants for his little girl, Molly. All right, you're going to go first? Thank you. You want me to go first? All right. I'll go first there. Dane wants Molly to have a grandma and an auntie. I started searching for my mother and sister oh, when, I, when I thought I could do it, and that was basically when I was about probably 16. Up until then, I, I took the advice of my dad and said, look, you know, don't worry about it, we'll be right sort of thing. But I think at 16, it started to become a reality that you know, I need to find these, this part of me, this, this missing piece in my life, being able to say, you are my sister, you are my mother. That's what it's all about, that's, that's family. That's family, all right. Now, Amanda. What's eating at Amanda is if she finds her mother, will she want to know her daughter? It's a pretty serious worry because the first time around, Amanda's mother had her adopted. If I did find her, um, obviously it would be strange because we're strangers. So, um, hoping that we could be friends. Um, and start up a friendship. Who's that? Come For on. Amanda, on, life's right. pretty good. Right. Adoptions never worried Amanda, and she loves the mum and dad who brought her up. But now and then, a question just nudges into Amanda's mind. Who I look like, you know? I, I don't look like any one in my family. So, and then when I used to see other families and people would look at their mothers and you could see the resemblance that that's the only that's the only thing that i really missed amanda's mum and dad adopted a boy too tony 
and what a great day it was when Tony met his birth parents. And just to watch them interact and, and the resemblance of them was unreal because him and I look nothing alike. Um, so it would be nice to look at someone and say, you know, wow, you look like me or I look like you. Well, we have found your mother. You're joking. You're joking. You have no. not. And I have a picture of her to show you. Yeah. <laughs> you silly. So where are Dane's mum and that sister, Lisa? After all, it's been 35 years. Vitally important that they know that I'm looking for them. Uh, only for the fact that I have this feeling that somewhere they're feeling exactly the same way I'm feeling. What if? Where is he? What's he doing? Um, what does he look like? Well, you know it's very hard to find people. You know that we've done lots of searching. But in the process of searching, we actually received an email from your sister. And she wanted us to find you. <laughs> How does that not surprise me? How long has she been searching? For a long time. That's overwhelming. That's so joyous. That's that's monumental. That's that's the part of my life that's missing. That that would mean the world to me. It'd be so great. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. oh, I gotta get a tissue. Oh. Oh. Or would you like to see a photograph of her? <laughs> no. <laughs> Left. Right. Come on. Come on. Amanda's adopted and happy about it. But there's that question. Who do I look like? This is a photo of your mother, Faye. Did you check? Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't want to do this. Oh, you're joking. And she'd really love to meet you. You were joking. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. Amanda's mother is Faye. Faye has been married to Don for nearly 30 years, but they've never had kids. I was getting a bit old by the time Don and I got married uh, to have children, and um, medically I couldn't have, couldn't then, so there was no other children to, uh, you know, in the family. The one time Faye did have a baby, it nearly killed her. Kidney problems. And all through that terrible labour and birth, Faye knew she couldn't keep the little one. I was going out with a gentleman and I became pregnant. Um, but he didn't really 
want to get married or having to do with the baby, so um, don't have much option back then. Uh, it was very hard to do. Um, you know, you don't even get to see the baby or hold the baby. Um, you know, you just give birth and the baby's gone. And it is very hard, you know, you don't really ever get over it. Um, even, you know, um, you sort of see the rest of the family with children and you think, well, that could have been me and, of course, it's not you. So, have you ever seen your daughter? No. No, I've never seen her. Well, I have a picture of your daughter, Amanda, to show you. This is what she looks like today. Oh, gee. <laughs> Can't get over that. She's beautiful. How does it make you feel to see your daughter? Oh, very, uh, very emotional, I'm afraid. <laughs> Dane can't even remember the last time he saw his little sister. He was only five. Jeez. I can see my father straight away. Just in the eyes, the face. Wow. That's amazing. It's amazing. Would you like to come with us and meet her? Now? I would love to come and see her. I would love to go and meet her. I'd love to know who she is. Well, Dane, here's your sister. Here's Lisa. But, Dane, I'm sorry, mate. Your mum's gone. Emphysema. Just a year ago. And I actually watched mum pass away, which was quite, um, hard. Um, and I miss her every day. This girl. I talk to her all the time. And just pray that she's listening. Yeah. Lisa has lost so much in her life. Dane, all those years ago, mum, and her own child, Josh, who was only 19, leukaemia. And I always tried to say to Mum, cheer up. But I never really understood until I lost my own son what my mother had really faced in her life. So it was just so unfortunate that we lost Mum and we couldn't reconnect with, with both of our losses. Well, I have some good news for you, because we have found your brother, Dane. <laughs> Mummy will be so proud. I just wish she was here. <laughs> oh, did he ever look for us? Yes. He did. <laughs> Does he look like me? I have a photo of him. You want to see him? Wow. He's big like me. <laughs> <laughs> Mum would be so proud. <laughs>
Left. Right. Uh, it was very hard to do. Um, you know, you don't even get to see the baby or hold the baby. Um, you know, you just give birth and the baby's gone. I did um, think about keeping the baby, but um, things just, you know, just I just couldn't. Um, back then, it, it was a no-no, you know, to be pregnant and not married. Um, you know, I didn't have a lot of choices. Watching other members of the family, daughters growing up and going to their first, having their formals and everything else, you know, it would have been lovely to be able to do that. But um, I couldn't and you just, you know, miss out on so much. Uh, oh, I'm glad that she has made contact with the show um, because, you know, I really do want to meet her and just, you know, be part of her life if possible, um, depending on what she would like. It's really nice. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to when we do finally meet and we can sort of fill the gaps in of our lives. Believe, isn't it? It's just, yeah, hard to believe. Can't wait to hear. I believe my mother suffered, and I believe that my father suffered for the decision that they have made. It, 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 it tore her apart. She, she honestly thought she would never, ever go on. She really wanted to always go back and get him, and. I now have to tell Dane, I'm sorry, mate, but you missed out on meeting her. <laughs> Dane, I wrote this for you on Thursday night. I just want to say I love you. Every year on your birthday, I would wish you a happy birthday, never knowing where you were, but hoping you were happy. Mum would cry for you, talk of you, and always hoping you would be a part of her life. And I th just want to say I love you, and I'm so looking forward to meeting you. some stage you and I can find each other and talk about our lives together and our lives apart. I know it's been 35 years. I hope that we uh, don't harbour anything against our parents for doing what they did. I only knew you as a little girl, a three-year-old. I just can't wait to meet you as a woman and my sister. And I love you. Bye. so much alike in our thinking. He feels for our father the way I feel for my mum. It's incredible.
Left. Right. It's a huge first time for Amanda and her fella, Noel. You all right, mate? I'm nervous. They're both meeting Amanda's mum. That's it, mate. Yep. Just scary stuff, man. Not much sleep for the last couple of nights. Um, but, you know, hopefully after today, that might uh, settle down a little bit and I might get some sleep. <laughs> I'm nervous, emotional. Just want to run when I see him. But just to cuddle him will just be wow. They should have grown up together, brother and sister. Lisa and Dane have been searching for each other for 35 years. I'm excited. I can't wait to meet my sister. It's uh, a monumental day in my life. I can't wait. Forgotten. No, never forgot. Never forgot. I just never thought that he he loved me. Of course he did. He loved you very deeply. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's a great day. It is a fantastic day. Yeah, everyone. Yes. Yeah. Next time, many fellas would feel the same. Ken. He really cut me up. I didn't think I could actually go on. And Vanessa and Craig. Why would anyone give up twins? I feel like Mum's watching over us as well at the moment.